we can now create projects within ChatGPT. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this new feature as fast as possible. So at the end of this video, you're going to have a full comprehensive idea of what the heck a project is in ChatGPT. Let's jump in. Major classic incoming, major classic. You already know how to use XYZ for beginners coming from Corbin Brown, yours truly. And this one is going to be projects. First major thing you should understand about projects is that it's going to be available for every single plan free plus pro right now they are still rolling it out to free users so if you're a free user and you're about to leave that comment like yo Corbin's not there they're rolling it out okay second major thing when it comes to projects there is no differentiation of value you receive whether you're on the plus plan or the pro plan therefore most of us who probably will stick with the plus plan are all good to go new project Think of a project as a very specific thing that you always come back to ChatGPT and request information for. For example, let's say you run a business and your marketing department and how you do marketing, you use ChatGPT a lot. Well, chances are then you're going to create an entire project dedicated to marketing that is then trained on specific data so your outputs are more effective. Let's go to give a project name here. I'm going to give mine financial advisor. And the reason I'm doing financial advisor is that one of the biggest features of projects is allowing us to upload data that allows us to use it across different chats. So this one's going to be like a fake profit and loss statement. Great project. So obviously, if you completely mess up, just go over those three ellipses, hit delete project. For now, though, we got our financial advisor. Let's walk around the user interface a little bit and understand everything we can do here. If we want to change the color of our chats, we can come up here. So for example, I like light blue. Let's do light blue. Next one, beginning a chat, we can go ahead and select our model right here. But the two major reasons why you're going to use projects is going to be the add files feature and add instructions. Here's the situation. It basically seems like OpenAI realized that the GBT store and GBTs probably wasn't as big of a hit as they would have liked. So they're kind of opening the functionality of what we saw in GBTs and making it more accessible in the sense of just one-off chats. As when we did chats with GBTs, you would lose older chats, which could get very annoying. Let's do the first thing here, which is going to be add files, what kind of Files can I add Corbin, PDFs, CSVs, don't add Excels, don't add Google Sheets, like it can only handle CSVs as of now, images, etc. Also code files, if you choose to do that. Add file. So I've gone ahead and added my sample file here up as CSV. Don't worry, we're going to gut check it, make sure it actually understands this data. There is limits here, so you can't add like a thousand files. There are limits to the amount of files you can add. OpenAI doesn't specify how many, but I guarantee after a while you'll realize, okay, wait, I can only add 20 PDFs. Now it comes over to instructions here. Now here's the situation of instructions. They've kind of switched up the older version of this. Let me zoom out which is custom instructions. To put simply, check out this video right here. I show you within five minutes, I even give you a custom GBT that allows you to create your own custom instructions of how to properly create custom instructions so you get the best kind of outputs. If you don't even know the purpose of this, think of it this way. Let's just say you're running a marketing agency and then every single time you wanna do captions, you use ChatGPT. But when you ask for captions, there's no consistency with the outputs across the days. If you add a custom instruction here that says every time you add captions or create captions, add an emoji, it will do that every single time. You won't have to reproctor chat GBT for a new chat. And honestly, I'll just leave the GBT in the description down below. Click the link, completely free. So make sure you leave a like, that's free as well. And let's just create a custom instruction real quick. I'm gonna go in and say, I need custom instruction for a PNL financial advisor for my business, hit enter. Obviously this is all plug and play in the sense of it's giving structuring, but if you wanna change it or tweak it, proceed. So this kind of output is more tailored towards the original customized chat GBT. Let's go ahead and use some of this. We're going to say, please point out any financial red flags or inefficiencies and suggest potential strategies for improvement. With this added here, we can come back to instructions and this can be anything. Only respond in four sentences. Only respond as if you're Jarvis from Iron Man. For now, we're just going to do this and hit save. Therefore, showing you two ways we can gut check this. Let's do it. Also, when I say gut check, that's a phrase in the sense of like, are you BSing me? Is this lying to me? Is this actually not reading the data? Therefore, let's put in the prompt which year had the highest in net sales, and we should get an answer here of 2029 from right there and there. Extremely important for you to understand, if you do use the attach file feature and you attach something here, then the highest level model that is possible as of now is 4.0. This is not an error. This is just the limitations of Chad GPT right now. Oh, and as you can see, when using custom instructions or files, only GPT 4.0 is available. So in reality, probably every single project it's going to be only 4.0 as of now. Hit enter. So notice up there, we have a different user interface when it comes to this chat. It is found within the financial advisor project, new chat. So that very simple question of what was the highest year? I got 2029. That is correct. And then the specific data point of $119,218, which is correct as well. $119,218. And it didn't forget the cents, 41 cents. So that's the chat right here. Take it to another level here. If I come back to my project by clicking this, you'll notice it'll show up here. 
the power of using projects really comes down to how much data you front load into the project itself with the instructions for the specific types of outputs and the files we attach. The idea here is that we just expedite workload because every new chat I do within Financial Advisor is going to be much more lasered in for the kind of outputs we're looking for. With all that done, you have a pretty good idea here. Let me show you one last little tip. That's pretty cool. If you have any pre-existing chats that you've been just chatting with for like the last couple of days or you really like, if you come over to that chat, hit the three ellipses, go to add a project, hit your project, it'll be added in. Boom. There we go. Why that is valuable is that now you can use all the context we uploaded with the project file and the instructions here and just get going. Now you know how to use projects and chat GBT. Let me know in the comments if you're even going to use this feature. You might be like, Corbin, I don't even care. I use Claude. I'll see you in the next video. Chat GBT update. Top 10 AI tools. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.